question. Um, this seems to be a trend in Nigerian athletics. We remember Blessing Onyali. Of course, she got the ban before she retired from the tracks. Not forgetting also Choma Ajunwa. Now, it seems Blessing Okagwara is joining this trend. But a lot of critics from um, the social media, especially when she brought out that tweet saying, our lawyers are really checking out the AIU investigation and they will be hearing from her soon. Do you think she should go ahead with this or uh, is becoming a trend right now in the Nigerian system when it comes to athletics? Um, no, I wouldn't say it's a trend when it comes to female athletes. Mm. Um, like you said earlier on, Miriam Yanli and Choma Jua, like they are the only two female athletes that we've had in the past, you know, 30 years. Okay. And then Blessing Mokagbari joining them. So, um, um, like, the, um, the question says that, uh, do I think it's a trend? No, I don't think it's a trend. I just you think, think it's, it's something that should continue in the system. If, our no, athlete, if the I Nigerian think, athletes think, keep, keep getting this ban due to drug substance use, Miriam Yali, yeah. Ajunwa, and now Okagbare is joining suit. Is this something, is it a call mm -hmm. for the Athletics Federation of Nigeria? A call to action? Yes, it, it's a call to action for Athletics Federation of Nigeria because right now, um, eyes, AIU already has eyes on Nigerian athletes. Mm. Nigeria, Nigeria is already listed in mm. the um, category A mm. of countries that they are investigating when it comes to um, um, Doping? And okay. everything. Because mm. even before Blessing you know, Okagbari was, was, was um, tested positive. If we recall in Tokyo, the same thing happened that 10, 10, 10, 10 athletes were not registered yeah. um, due to doping cases and all those things. So now, eyes are now on Nigerian athletes, mm. not just the female athletes, mm. both the male athletes. Now, the Federation needs to now sit down and look at policies that can come in place or things that can be done mm. to avoid future occurrences. Mm. When it comes to like doing master classes for the younger athletes, the youth, the junior, that this thing is not what is not the easy way to success. Mm. So they need to come up with policies, they need to come up with classes, they need to come up with seminars, even with the coaches, not just the athletes, the coaches as well. Mm. So they know they need to know the latest, the list, the latest list of drugs down banned. Um, the band list, mm. you understand? Okay. Because I was already on the team now. Okay. At the last World Junior Championships um, last year, Nigeria is listed as the next printing nation okay. to watch out for. Mm. Now, these are the things you are talking about. These athletes, when in five years, ten years, then they'll be dominating the world scene. Mm. So we don't want a real occurrence of oh, bless no Canberra. Now, five years time, there's someone else that is doing well and something happens. So the federation needs to come up and create policies, mm. seminars, everything, education, educate the athletes, both home and abroad, okay. on the latest things that needs to be done to avoid this uh, um, in future.